tell you an epic improvised tale. It's going to hopefully have a beginning, a middle, and a brilliantly tied up end. Now, what I need from you guys is the title of this epic tale. What is that title going to be? Stalker. Stalker. Something from the back. What was that? Beetroots and murder. Yeah. <laughs> Beetroots and murder. I don't know what the hell is about to happen, but here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Beetroots and murder! We've been in here a long time. <laughs> Can't take back what he did. Got too competitive in the beetroot growing competition. <laughs> You're the only one I talk to, Officer Jenkins. The only one who comes to visit anymore. <laughs> Ow! Is this really necessary? Oh, I think it is for a crime of your calibre. You know, they still can't grow beetroots on that patch of land. I know. I know my actions were severe, but... Severe? All right, I burned down half of Somerset. <laughs> but I was a young man. I had people influencing me. I had, I had dreams and hopes and aspirations. And they got dashed in a single day, and I snapped. You didn't just burn down half of Somerset. You burned down the good half. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know we can never take it back. I'll spend the rest of my life in this prison cell, but if I could go back and visit that young, naive 18-year-old farmer, I would. I'd tell him there's more to life than beetroot. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> More to life than beetroot? It's not worth murdering you. You call yourself a true Somerset country bumpkin? <laughs> like me? <laughs> With my deep, rich Somerset <laughs> accent? <laughs> no. No, son. So it sounds like you're condoning what I did then. No, I'm not condoning what you did. I'm saying there isn't more to there is more to life than. <sighs> you all start what again. I'm saying is, Somerset, the economy used to depend on beetroot. But you burnt down all the arable land. Yeah, that's right, the arable land. <laughs> and now we can't grow beetroot anymore. Big words. And now what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do for money in this town, eh? Why do you think I can't afford real prison bars? <laughs> and I have to keep you locked in here with this archaic device? <laughs> I guess I'll never be forgiven. Not by me. <laughs> Not by myself. I don't care about that. All right. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> he can't see me. <laughs> oh my god, it's finally happened. I've gone mad in here. Whoa! I am the spirit of Somerset. <laughs> oh, spirit, I'm so sorry for what I did to your arable land. Oi! Oh! Sorry you should be. Oh, the voices. But you said. You said if you could go back, <laughs> go back and see the 18 year old farmer you were. Come you back. Could, you do it different, like. I'm his friend, I'm just. <laughs> I, would, back, my friend. I would do it different, like. It's a different lonely, like. it's it would, a lonely job. Like. It would change my ways. I... Would you? Dif would you okay. change your ways? Do you still have time to change? Time to change. Time to time change. To change. <laughs> time to change. Time, time to change. Time to change. Time 
I'm back. Oh, summer say. <laughs> Mom, is that you? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, I'm young time. again. I'm 18. Good morning, son. Good oh, morning, son. Mom, you still alive? <laughs> of course I'm still alive. <laughs> Let me go down the spiral staircase. Summer oh, oh. I'm so oh. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, for everything. I... What, you, what have you done now? <laughs> have you stolen Mr. Pig and Bro's milk again? Oh, no, Mum, I've not done that since I was a boy. <laughs> Son! Son! Dad! Ah! Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? It's so good to see you without the burns. Oh. <laughs> without the burns? Oh, I mean. Oh, Good morning. Oh, my God. My darling, my darling, and I'm just, uh, just, just doing the. Uh, you're just Irish, that's what you that's are. What I am. <laughs> just doing the morning just run, do... making sure the town's uh, good and happy. You know? Good and happy. Remember, they can't see me. Remember, <laughs> you can still make the same mistakes again. What will you do? All right, the beetroot competition's coming up to tomorrow. That's when it all goes wrong. My beetroots, there's... Oh, there are beetroots competitions coming up tomorrow. Oh, what a great competition! If they could see me, they'd be being very rude by talking over me. <laughs> Remember, you wouldn't steal a bike. You wouldn't hire a VHS. So don't kill someone over some beetroots! You know me! You know, when I was a young boy, I, I won the beetroot competition. Oh. That's where oh, we met each other. He had the biggest beetroot in all of Somerset. Oh. Huge, swinging. Enormous, and the end was a different colour. Yes. <laughs> hey, son. Yeah? You should join the... You could peel the skin back. <laughs> well, Dad, Stop the moon, the beetroot. Mom, Dad, no, I... God, this is exactly what happened before. I, I've, I've actually secretly been growing beetroots in my room. They're the biggest anyone's ever seen. I, You're I, joking. Fantastic, no. son. I'm going to enter and I'm going to win. I'm going to make you proud, Dad. Yes, you I, are. If I lose, I go fucking mental. Oh. <laughs> well, listen, I've got to go back to keeping the peace on these streets and make sure everyone's happy and safe, OK? But I'll see you later. I love you. I love you too, Marvin. <laughs> Oh, spirit, oh, this is out. too painful. Hold <laughs> out, out. How do I stop making this damn mistakes again? If it's too painful, <laughs> choose a different part. <laughs> Remember, rage, rage does terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. My beetroot. <laughs> You call that a beetroot? <laughs> down, down, down! <laughs> wait, wait. Justin Willoughby, he's the one who... That's he's right, one... I'm in your house. <laughs> he's the one who sabotaged me. I recognise his voice from outside. <laughs> no, I am in your oh, house. <laughs> Justin, what? How, how did you get in my room? You, you're the one who caused that. Yeah. Uh, you call those beetroots? <laughs> The little sacks of shit they are. <laughs> we miss your energy. Yeah, little sacks of shit, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kind of fascist friend. <laughs> Actually, the bullies. He, he keeps bees sometimes. <laughs> yeah. These were those bullies. They, they're the ones who sabotaged my beetroot. But I couldn't enter the competition. What are you saying? Were you saying they, they sabotaged your Because we did. That's right. I just checked it. Well, I put acid inside him. <laughs> so good luck winning the competition now. Yeah. Big dick. That's not an insult. <laughs> Little dick. Big dick. Don't call him big dick. You got a big dick. No. <laughs> I'm it. Woo! That's a, yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. No. Look at you with your big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You haven't even seen him. Why are you two like this? You're putting your innocent boy down the path. Hey! Come on, these With people deserve to die. Dick. Surely it was right for me to burn down half a Somerset to get rid of these two prints. We'll see you at the competition. Oh. Loser, big dad. Big dick. 
I think the door is this way. It's happening again. It's all happening. I'm not sure I remember this bit. <laughs> I remember why I did, got angry and I went, I went to try and sabotage their breach troops in return and I started the fire and it got out of control and I just wanted them all gone. A good morning, sir. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's coming back to me. What a mighty fine day it is to be selling a whole truckload of gasoline. <laughs> How do these guys keep getting into my bedroom? <laughs> How'd you get in here? I, 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 why did my mum let I me have a ladder! And I put it up against that window, so I did. <laughs> Didn't you hear me humming along? Yeah. I went, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I heard you humming along. Whole tank of gasoline. I, just, I don't. I don't. I don't want your gasoline this time. Are you sure? I don't want it. I. Because I'm selling it for a very low price, and you could make a big load of money on it if you sell it for more. Are you Satan? <laughs> could be. <laughs> could. No, be. I'm not. I can't make mis the mistakes of the past. The spirit of Somerset has sent me back so I can change things, make things better again. Mistakes of the past? What time do you think you're in? Matchstick salesman. <laughs> Matchstick salesman. No. Matchstick for sale. Surrounded, surrounded by temptation. What, what if I just made the fire smaller? Instead Three of using all the gasoline, just Three burn. Samples. Just burn down there. Beetroots, not use all the gasoline and burn down half of Somerset. That might work. It's justice, but not out of control. Bless you. <laughs> Who the fuck else is in my room? I don't know. I don't know where I left the keys to my truck. I hope it wasn't unlocked. <laughs> With all that valuable and plentiful gasoline lying in the back. All right, I'll just, just take a little bit of gasoline. Drive the truck there, take a little bit out, burn down there, beat troops, and then we're both not in the competition. He doesn't rub it in my face, I don't burn down her for some reason. All right, back down the stairs. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh. ha, welcome to Somerset's bitter old competition, uh, uh, 1950, wherever we are. <laughs> okay, everybody, uh, get Somerset your beat roots out. Somerset beat roots! Beat roots, beat roots, let's go. Okay. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, today's going to be the greatest competition of the beetroot you've ever seen. We have... Uh, oh, a new competitor. Are you signing up? Oh, no, I'm not signing up. I've just got to deliver this, um... fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> you must be Andre Beetroot. Yes, I'm Andre Beetroot. <laughs> Andre Beetroot. Big competition coming up. You were my hero as a child. Hey. Everybody watches my TV show. <laughs> Where I grow the beetroots in real time. I know. It's really forward thinking for the 1950s. <laughs> Mr. Andre Beetroot, you're my hero. Ah, uh, I don't like you. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, so. holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, into the room. We have the man himself, a five time beetroot competition winner. Here, what's your name again? <laughs> Justin. They call me Justin. Justin Trouble. <laughs> oh! Boo! Oh, that was so cool! Try, did you see what he did there, Justin In Treble? In the 50s, that was impressive. <laughs> this is fantastic, okay. It's gonna be, sorry, just doing a little warm-up. It's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be a great competition. Uh, but are you ready? You're going to uh, smash the competition. We're gonna smash it, you know? I love beetroots, and I'm the best at beetroots, and you know, there's nothing in this world I'm afraid of, apart from fire, obviously, because who isn't afraid of fire? Obviously, I've got a fear of fire, because, you know, my parents died in that fire a few, you know, in the 40s, and, you know, so that's really traumatised me and caused me to act out. But apart from that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh, good. So All right, the competition about. will be starting in T-minus oh, one minute. T-minus one minute. I didn't hear that tragic backstory before. 
I just drove the truck directly into the festival and it exploded. <laughs> but now I understand why Justin is so mean. It's because he's... Oi. He's hurt. Oi. I'm not going to burn this beetroot Oi. of his. Oi, your dick is big. <laughs> Justin, I... <sighs> oh, it looks even bigger now. I know why you're like this. I heard about your parents in the fire. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa. Don't, Whoa. You, don't you even bring that up! How dare you? How dare you? Who brought it How up? How dare you? We, I, I can bring it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> I understand why you destroyed my beetroot, and this is the only thing that you, you've got in your life. And I was going to burn your beetroots down. I was actually going to burn everything down. But I realise you're not a bad man. You're just a man who's had bad things happen to you. And I what? should know about that. No, don't you chicken what? out, all right? I'm yeah. chicken out. Don't I'm chicken 45. Out. <laughs> I don't care how old you are. You chicken out now, I win, and you go down. <laughs> I'll go down an innocent man. His voice is really old. <laughs> I don't like it. What are, you, what, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? I'm saying there's more to life than beetroots. The prison warden was right. I'm not going to become a murderer over a shit vegetable. <laughs> well, then I guess I win, don't I? I win. I've got everything I ever wanted. I'm a winner. You don't have any parents. <laughs> My greatest fear, a sick bird. <laughs> but I just realized today I've got two wonderful ones at home and they love me. And I let them down. I thought you were taking a moral high ground. Because I burned down half of Somerset. Oh, oh shit, this, God, you know, this show gets too much to light my cigarette. No, the gasoline! Oh. Where am I now, spirit? I couldn't. Oh, I'm back in prison. <laughs> Did you change? Did you change, young one? I must have changed something because it was only a small fire this time, but the, the big thing didn't go off, so it's half of Somerset still okay. I didn't ask if you changed Somerset. I asked if you changed. <laughs> well, obviously not. I'm still here. I'm still locked Sometimes up. Sometimes what happens to us isn't, <laughs> isn't due to what we've done. All we can control is the man inside. I'm becoming the spirit of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I must go. Spirit, thank you for giving me a chance to not make things perfect, at least make them a little better. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. <laughs> Maybe they are. This is my friend. I'm his friend. <laughs> Guess no visitors again today. You know, I'm not quite right on that front. What do you mean? The detectives department got in touch. New evidence has come to life. To life? To light? <laughs> Sorry, it's so shocking. I'm losing the either, power of speech. Either, either works. Apparently it was that Andre Beetroot who lit the fire. It was an accident. He did it with a cigarette. I know. We called him on CCTV. We thought it was all burnt, but it wasn't. In the... In the 50s. <laughs> hey! Before it burned down, Somerset was a hotbed of scientific research. <laughs> but it's not... So Somerset's not all half burned down now, because it was just a small fire. The big... I didn't set the big truck off. No, that's right. Only a small part of it burnt down. The science hub. <laughs> So we, and it wasn't your fault. It was my. I was the one who put the gasoline on those beetroots. It, it wouldn't have lit up if it wasn't for me. But I realised I shouldn't burn it down. And then I didn't use the whole truck. I just used a little bit. But look, I, I think you've changed. All right. <laughs> all right, big debt. <laughs> Justin, listen. Um, after you, uh, you know, saved my life by shielding me from fire years ago. <laughs> 
We tried. Well, listen, I, I, I've come to give you a lift home. <laughs> if you, you know, if you want. Because, <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> the new evidence and stuff, and, you know, I, I figured maybe I was, a, maybe I acted out a little bit. And he, he agrees as well. <laughs> he lost his tongue in the fire, obviously, but. <laughs> you mean I, I'm free? I can go home. We really did lose that. My mum, my dad. I'm, I'm not sure if they can come in right now. <laughs> <laughs> and see! Thank you!